happened 18 days ago. A prediction made February 25th, 2022. Earlier this year, the beginning of this year. These all concern Switzerland. Remember, guys, in the Switzerland video, I gave you guys a heads up about the unusual character who had hired me to do these predictions. And I told him that, that I am not going to keep these from the public. And he was cool with that. He said, go ahead and share it on your channel. I don't care. But he paid me a lot of money just to run these predictions. This is back in February. Switzerland. <clears throat> Free trade agreement with the EU ends or is fundamentally changed in 2023. Switzerland, a collapse of a major bank chain or a change in the type of banking, um, it's unclear. Now, the method of banking changes could be it instead of just a full collapse. It's really unclear. So Switzerland, the WEF will suffer problems in 2022 and all through 2023 by other nations that are acting against the World Economic Forum. Remember, guys, I've told you over and over and over in my live presentations, those aren't predictions videos, but you guys know you've been listening to me for a long time. I've told you guys many times that, that, that Klaus Schwab and the WEF, the whole 2030 agenda has fallen apart. They are now in defense mode. They are no longer trying to push that BS. Even the year that they skipped their meeting in Davos, so the two years they skipped their meeting in Davos, something was up, something was going on. Then they came back and they had a meeting in Davos, but it was fundamentally different. So it's almost as if they see the writing on the wall or, or, the deep state is about to undergo a change of guard because too many people in the world have woke up to all the faces that belong to the deep state. So it's time to remove them and take them out and replace them with, with patriotic puppets who are also going to do their bidding. So this huge transition of power isn't what you think, guys. The WEF is a Western economic power that controls Eastern economies, but the entire the entire table is about to change. And I'm, I'm gonna get to that in this video. So Switzerland, WES suffers problems. Switzerland, events abroad will affect partners of the WEF and programs funded by the WEF. It's almost as if there is a conservative, conservative, a concerted front by different nations to start attacking all the interests of the WEF. All right. <clears throat> Switzerland. WEF, the World Economic Forum power structure, ends in the year 2023. Now, Switzerland, removal of liberals and socialists in the United States is followed by a removal of globalist leaders in many nations, has Switzerland on high alert through 2022 and 2023. Switzerland. 2023, anti-papal sentiment builds with the, with the people of Switzerland, not the government. The people of Switzerland are fed up about something the Pope's done. Switzerland, a group of nations have entered a secret compact to unify their efforts to overthrow the World Economic Forum. Switzerland, other banks will induce government to enact bank reforms that appear to protect the public, but actually protect the banks. I have to put this into perspective. This occurs almost immediately after the collapse of a, of a bank chain or a fundamental collapse in the way banking is done. They're forced to change. Now, Switzerland. Major bank in Switzerland will be implicated in a conspiracy, fraud. I am telling you that this is probably Goldman Sachs or a Goldman Sachs owned or affiliated bank. Switzerland, spirit of nationalism begins to rise with the people. 180 days ago was half a year ago, six months ago. Prediction is made April 4th, 2022. All right. The U.S. will remove socialists from office. 2023, staged blackouts of infrastructure and communications. 2023, a staged Carrington event. You guys already know I have two full, full-length videos all about this and how date sequence, predictive analytics, and isometric projections show the 2023 false Carrington event and how in one of those videos, oh, 33 to 34 different Hollywood productions all encoded 
2023 September in, in their deals. And all these YouTubers have completely misapplied that to, to September 23rd every year since it was first discovered in 2014. So anyway, that's 2023, the, the fall stage Carrington event, the, the takedown of the internet. This is why the deep state doesn't really care about all the events that are going on in the world, the change of guard. This is their trump card. Now, 59 days ago, prediction made August 8th, 2022. Crazy events of Biden's behavior and the failed policies of the Democrats is absolutely intentional. What is unfolding is the controlled collapse of the Democratic Party. Every bit of this is by design. 2023, the U.S. will become energy independent, which follows after Biden's removal from office. Biden will be removed from office. Here's a fifth reference to, to, uh, to that. Now, new U.S. leaders will usher in new religious right ultra-conservatism in 2023. Guys, I'm not kidding. I've told you guys about five different times in videos that what's coming in the United States isn't what you're anticipating. They've, they have allowed you to be so sickened and just by the reprehensible political behavior of our leaders, our leftist, liberal, socialist leaders that have been doing every single thing that is considered anti-American. They have been flaunting it. They've been doing this, but it was all by design. It's to get you to easily agree to the next regime change, which is going to be the Christian Reich. The Christian Reich is going to be ultra conservative. This neo conservatism is going to build and gain momentum very fast. And the worst, the worst political, the worst type of political party is one where its leaders actually believe that they are allied to God because then they can justify anything they do against anybody else. This new leadership, it's not going to be immediate. It starts in 2023 and it builds, but the, this is the type of, of mindset that will reinterpret the Constitution. It will reinterpret, not the liberal way, but abs absolutely ultra-conservative. It will have courts ruling who are citizens and who are not. So, and that's, that's people who are citizen, citizens now. Their citizenship will come up under, under suspicion. And you think I'm talking about Oh, foreigners that are coming here. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah. Also